design team from Wow Embossing Powders has teamed up with Picket Fence Studios for a fun field blog hop where there is plenty of inspiration and some prizes are up for grabs as well. We'll have more information about how you can enter later on in the video so stay tuned. For today's cards I'm showing you how easy it is to make a sentiment the focal part of your card. This is a great way to make modern, clean and simple cards quickly and are great to make with several on the go. I'm Verity and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, why not think about subscribing so you don't miss out on my next video. So for these two cards, I'm using two sentiment stamps from Picket Fence Studios. Both of these are good staple sentiments to have in your stash. In addition, I'm also using two embossing glitters from Wow Embossing Powders just to add a little sparkle to the cards. So for the first card, I'm creating a really simple embossed background for the sentiment to sit on. Uh, now I'm using a stencil I created on my Silhouette Cameo, but you can use any stencil you have to hand. I'm adhering the stencil to a piece of white cardstock using some washi tape just to keep it in place. Now I have two WOW Clear Ultra Sew Drying Embossing Pads. One for messy embossing like today, where I don't mind getting glitter etc on my pad. And then I have another pad I keep clean for clean embossing, such as when I'm doing sentiments etc. So to apply the ink over my stencil, I'm just using the direct to paper method and smooshing the ink pad down over the stencil. This ink takes a while to dry, so I don't have to worry about being fast when applying it over such a large area like this one. Um, once I was happy with the amount of ink I'd actually got on the paper, you then just want to remove the stencil to add the embossing glitter. So for this first card, I'm using the High Heels Embossing Glitter, and this is a lovely silver embossing powder and silver glitter mix, which is stunning when it's heat set. So when heat setting embossing glitter, it's best to start off applying your heat from underneath the card. Now this way, the embossing powder will start to melt and then trap the flecks of glitter in it. But sometimes if you heat from above, you the gun will then blow the glitter off before the powder's had a chance to melt and trap the flecks of glitter. I've repeated the steps of applying the ink and the powder several times just because I want to get a nice even coverage of the powder for a smooth look. So to create the background for the second card, I'm going to add some colour to the card before I add the embossing glitter. So I'm using some regular post-it notes just to mask off an area at one end of the card and using some blending brushes I'm applying a Skylight Ink by Catherine Pula to the card. Now I'm fading the colour out as I softly blend the colour on just to create a bit of an ombre, almost ombre look. And I'm repeating this step at the other end of the cardstock panel, making sure I leave a white space in the middle where I'm masking that off with the post-it notes. So this time I'm using Daydream Ink by Catherine Paula for a darker finish at this end of the card. Now to add the embossing powder, make sure your ink has dried before adding the stencil down. This isn't such a problem when it's dye inks, but Catherine Paula inks can stay wet a little bit longer. Again, I've masked off the inner portion of the card panel to keep it clean as this is where I want my sentiment to go later. Once more, I'm just using the clear ultra slow dry embossing pad to apply ink over the stencil with the direct paper method. And then for this card, I'm covering the embossing ink with Long Island teal embossing glitter. This is a lovely mix of teal embossing powder with small gold flecks of glitter in it. And it really pairs well with this color scheme that I've selected. So remember to heat set from underneath to ensure you trap your glitter, but you can finish the melting off over the top as well. For the teal card, I've placed the panel in my missy and I'm positioning the thank you stamp from Picket Fence Studios on my card panel within the white space area that I'd masked off. I'm stamping this with Versafine Onyx Black Pigment Ink as it stamps perfectly and is a dark crisp black ink. And I've just used a smaller secondary sentiment from one of my stamp stash just to finish the sentiment off. For the other card, I'm going to use a piece of vellum which I've cut using a stitched rectangle die. Now I'm treating the vellum piece with an anti-static bag as vellum can hold static much more than paper. While embossing powders do say that if you keep your powders within your pot, it won't usually stick to areas where there isn't any ink because they've reduced the static within the powder. But vellum is a lot more static than normal paper, so I just use um, a bag just to treat it, just to be safe. 
So I'm stamping the happy, happy, happy birthday sentiment from Picket Fence Studios and covering this with Primary Ebony Black Embossing Powder from Wow. This sentiment is a great size, making it perfect for focal elements on a card and I love the script font of this sentiment. So embossing powder melts quite quickly on vellum and vellum can take on heat from your gun quite quickly as well. So make sure you move your gun around to prevent warping of the vellum. So to assemble the cards, both panels were trimmed down and foam mounted onto five and a half by four and a quarter inch card bases. So to adhere the vellum panel, I'm applying some small amounts of glossy accents on the back of the vellum piece behind where all the embossed sentiment is to hide the glue. To make sure it adheres well, I'm just placing an acrylic block on the top whilst it dries. To finish the cards off, I'm using Morning Dew and Silver Lining Nouveau Crystal Drops just to embellish the cards. I wanted the embellishment to be simple so it didn't take away from the sentiments and also the shine from the embossing glitters. As I mentioned, this is part of a blog hop between the design teams from Wow Embossing Powder and Picket Fence Studios. Make sure you head over to my blog, there is a link below to join in the hop. There are prizes up for grabs from both WOW and Picket Fence Studios if you comment on each stop along the hop. For more details just make sure you head over to my blog. This was produced as part of my design teamwork for WOW Embossing Powders and links are listed below. For 10% discount at the shop just enter the code you see on screen. If you enjoyed today's video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Don't forget you can hit that bell icon to be notified when the next video is up. Until next time, happy crafting!